to my auntie, you know? Sorry if that was like a... You okay today? How's your day been? Okay. Well, are you Muslim? No. Well, well, do you believe in God? No, Of course, just you. I'm just me too. But you believe in the Creator? Huh? Yeah, Of course. I mean, like when you look to this creation and look around it and observe it and analyze it, without any doubt, this creation must have a Creator. You know, we, we, that is something which is well rooted within us. That, that is something which is undeniable to accept there is a Creator that created this creation. You know, look to our look how we've been look. We see day and night, organized our own creation. Nose next to our mouth. Why? Before you eat, smell food. You have eyebrows above your eyes to protect you from the sweat, because sweat contains the salt. You have a teeth in your mouth before you eat. You, uh, before you you eat, you chew the food. So clearly, we've been designed. You know, and designed indicate a designer. You know, if a simple phone. Like, I haven't seen the person who made the phone, yeah? I haven't seen him. But yet, even though it's from the unseen, yet by analyzing the phone, I can come to know the one who made the phone must be knowledgeable about how to make phone, must have a will, must have ability. This is a simple phone. What about our own creation? Like, any create object that we create is mimicking God's creation. If the, that which has been mimicked, or the, the, the fake one must have a creator. What about the original one? Are you with me? Does it make sense? Huh? It does make sense, yeah. So if this is the case, no doubt about uh, that we must have a purpose. You're not feeling pressure or something, yeah? You're not feeling pressure? No. Yeah, yeah, okay. You know, just uh, yeah, we, we, we must have a purpose. You know, all of us, like every part of our body has a purpose. What about us as a whole? must have a purpose and our, our purpose here is to in order for us to know our purpose we have to go back to the creator do you have any question yeah can i give you something to read as a gift here take this this woman islam and seven questions about islam you need to read yeah all right okay take care see you nice to meet you as well thank you very much uh, as you know, like I mentioned that before, many people come here to bring doubt about Islam, Christians, and other than them, even though their arguments go against, uh, go against their own beliefs. From the doubt that Bob, I've exposed him already, that he keeps saying Al-Warith, who is talking about Allah as al warith I've exposed him with that. He said Allah is not Al-Ghani, is not self-sufficient, because Allah depends on the creation, you know? And when you look back into this definition of depend, when you depend on something, mean that you are in need of it. Another word. But when you were speaking to the uh, Asian brother, and I have to mention some brothers that come to speak his corner, new brothers to give dawah. You know, don't let these guys, because Bob is not what he's going to show you. It, 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 I believe, no doubt about that. Analyzing which people are attracted to him are the, the idea followers, supporters, and the race when they come to him. You see, they will not come to other Christians who they know they go against them, yeah? So this person is a hidden racist person, a Christian a white supremacist, yeah? And I have proof for that, as I mentioned. You can see indication. Anyway, so he will, he will say anything against Islam. He's a liberal Christian. Even if he's talking about slavery, which is clear in the Bible, but yet he has problem with it, he's in the Bible, you know? So he's talking about Allah Ar-Rahman. So therefore, Allah is, depends on the creation, show mercy, no. The cre okay, imagine now, Allah creates something and does not show mercy to that, to that thing. Would that thing be a life? No, because it's in need of Allah depends on Allah, no Allah depends on it, is the other way around. If Allah is able to create salvation, don't show nothing, that thing will be destroyed. That's why Nabi alayhi salatu salam, what he say, Allahumma la takilni ila nafsi tarfata ayin. Oh Allah, do not let me depend on myself, even a blink of an eye. Because if Allah doesn't show you mercy, if Allah doesn't show his, uh, the effect of his name's attribute, you'll be destroyed. Not because Allah depends on that, not because you depend on Allah's the uh, uh, effect of Allah's attribute to be alive, to exist, and so on. So he does his his argument is irrational, illogical. You know to say Allah because Allah is Al Ghani. Why? Why is Al Ghani? I'm not. Imagine I'm rich. I, I'm self so I'm rich. I start giving money to poor people. Doesn't mean I depend on them. They depend on me. If I don't want to give them, I don't want to give them. I'm not going to lose nothing. 
You understand? I'm not going to lose nothing. I still have the money and so on. So Allah, it was a silly argument. And you can see, he keeps changing the, the, the doubts. Why? Every time he comes with a new doubt, he gets refuted. Demolished. He goes and he looks for another doubt. He comes back. Demolished. Refuted. He goes back. To show you that he doesn't hold, he doesn't, uh, he has nothing against Islam. Alhamdulillah. Why, my brothers? Some people say, why there's many doubts against Islam? Okay, imagine there's two trees. Both of them tree of graves. I say tree of graves. One has a lot of graves. One doesn't have nothing. Which one are people gonna start stoning to get the graves? The one with the graves, the fruitful one. The one that's dry is dead. That's what's happening. Everyone's stoning at uh, stones at Islam. No Christians because Christianity is dead, there's nothing there. But Islam because they know the fruit is there. Let us take that fruit, let us demolish that fruit. You understand? So that's why you see many people waging in the park, you see Christians, Jewish. Hindu, Sikh, everyone, some Hindu comes here, but everyone, atheists come together and guess who? Islam. If Islam is weak, why are you are united against Islam? Because they know deep down Islam is the powerful, strongest. Not because we are strong as human beings, because it's from Allah wa ta ta'ala. And they know that. For example, imagine now, I'm gonna uh, imagine I have Mike Tyson in front of me, yeah? And I have some little chicken guy here in front. Of, which one I'm gonna start fighting? I'm going to call my brothers to fight McTyson because he's stronger. He's you see what I'm saying? Now I'm just giving an example, analogy, yeah? May Allah guide and guide him. I'm going to do like a box. I'm going to, you know, you know? So the analogy is that you're going to go the strongest one. So that's what's happening now. Atheists, Christians, everyone, they come together. Bob, he brings a Jewish guy. He said, is Muhammad prophesied in the Bible? So therefore, whatever the Jewish guy is going to say, it must be the truth. But guess what? That is the same guy who believes Jesus is not even a Messiah. Jesus is not even a prophet. And Jesus is not even in the Bible, the Old Testament. So how are you utilizing a guy who doesn't even believe in your Messiah, rather he believes he was a bastard, and you try to utilize him against Islam? Go check his channel, you know. No, don't check it, that channel is a bin. It's a, lie. It's a, it's a, it's a garbage. You know, if you want to spear something, go there. You know, there's nothing there. Alhamdulillah, people accept Islam. Ikhwan, akhawat. They're not confused. They're more confused than confused.com. You know, confused.com, they are more confused. Yeah, you, know what you, you know what's happening? The Western oh, world, no, no, no. who came to Asia and Africa and other countries to spread Christianity in the, in the uh, 19th century? The Western world, Europe. But the same people who came and killed people for it, they don't care about it anymore. They left it. They don't care. They, they are selling churches for the mosque. You see, here you can uh, uh, mock Jesus, insult Jesus, humiliate Jesus. They'll do nothing to you. Yeah. But if you do something against their own beliefs, which is the state, liberalism, then you see what happened to you. You see? So therefore, people say it's a Christian country. I don't accept that. There's nothing Christianity about here. Atheism. Yeah, it's liberal. It's liberal. Yeah, which is, liberalism is like atheism. Yeah. Atheism. Yeah. Because uh, Jesus has no respect here. Jesus has more respect in the Muslim countries than in the Christian countries. Imagine someone mock Jesus in the Muslim country. He's finished. Can't play with that. Mok Jesus, the mighty messenger, the Messiah. You're finished. He's a man that should be respectful. He's not a man that you take him as a laughing stock. That if you want to mock him, you go mock Jesus and Moses and Abraham. No, in the Muslim countries, none of that. There are people who've been respected, chosen by Allah, honorable people. You come a clown, you joke about them. You have nothing to joke about. Allah Akbar. Alhamdulillah. Allah leave this. Alhamdulillah, man. Barakallah.